Every movie tells a story. Every story tells a tale. Come with us as the people behind the Cinemadness podcast talk candidly about the stories that connect them to their favorite movies. This is Real Stories from the Isles. Hey everybody, Adam here. I'm back with another real story from the Isles. For a second, I had to stop and think that I was going to say retro rewatch because this is still pretty new. So I didn't. So we're back and this is uh, real stories from the Isles. I'm going to be taking you through a little journey about my past. And uh, it starts in the early 80s. Uh, with a little movie called The Legend of Billie Jean. It stars Helen Slater, also known as Supergirl. The original Supergirl, not the one on TV right now that... Is it canceled? I think it's got canceled. But anyway, it stars Helen Slater. And it's a it's a, a Me Too movie made in the early 80s. And uh, it's really good, but uh, her whole thing was that she was uh physically abused and uh by an older person and she's not being believed by the people and she starts a revolution and the revolution uh has a catchphrase that goes fair is fair arms raised in the air fair is fair that's a little backstory on that a little backstory on me back in the early Aughts, I guess they, they're saying, the early 2000s. I had this little independent thing going on where if I was able to, I would get uh, press badges for conventions and go interview people with my little Sony Handycam. And uh, I discovered it was really easy to get press badges for conventions, at least back then. If you had any type of official sounding name, you could you could probably get in. Since it was like the early days of YouTube, there was not a lot of media coverage for small conventions um, or middle, middle, middle conventions or big ones. You know, I got into Megacon a couple times with that. That was still in the early to mid aughts. This was around 2004, 2005. Uh, I had a YouTube presence. It was just me and my little handy cam, no microphone, no nothing. And I would get interviews as working press for these conventions. And this one convention, it was a toy convention in Orlando. It was called FX, like special effects or something. And I really wanted to go because uh, Nathan Fillion and Nicholas Brendan were there. Uh, two people that I enjoyed their work and I would want to meet them and get their autographs because I was an autograph hound in the early 2000s. Also at this convention was Helen Slater. And because I was press and it was a small convention, I got a lot of backstage access and the, and the, and the like. Uh, I was not considered a guest, but I got like the guest access to all the stuff and I was able to talk to them and not not be on the floor for that kind of stuff that's actually where i'm getting at and there was one time of the day uh, i was backstage well not backstage i was behind the the main hall uh where the the guests you know could take their breaks and stuff i was coming out of the bathroom i actually opened the door to get it back into the hall and I opened it and held it for Helen Slater as she was hurrying to the bathroom and uh I was like holy holy crap that's Helen Slater so I I shook my head and turned back to her and just shouted fair is fair and she turned around and she stopped where she was and she just put her arms up like it was back in 1983 or 82 Two or 81 I think it was 83 or 84 I can't remember the actual year of of Legend of Billie Jean but 
it's one of my favorite convention stories. It's a really quick story, and it's uh, it's a story that uh, Allison gets really tired of me telling, and she knows it's coming whenever the words Supergirl or Helen Slater come up, or convention. And uh, it's just something I wanted to get on on this channel because I think it's funny that I can finally tell this story for a reason. So yeah, there it is. There's my story about uh, Helen Slater connected to the legend of Billie Jean. And uh, that's it. That's a little bit, little another little tidbit about me. And uh, I'm glad I was able to share it with you guys. This way, if I need to tell my quote-unquote Helen Slater story, I can do so by uh, uh, referring to this this piece of content to get more views and listens and that kind of stuff. So, I don't know. It's just one of my favorite stories, and uh, I'm glad I got to share it with you. So, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll see you for the next Real Stories.